I'll be the first to tell you that I don't know dick about game design. I realize that it's difficult and you have to know shit, like how games work and stuff, but I do spend an irresponsible amount of time both playing and thinking about PUBG, so much so that I've decided to take it upon myself to collect the hodgepodge of goofy shit that goes through my brain as I lay in bed at night and make videos about it because I love PUBG and would like to think that some of these ideas might be cool additions to the game. Way back in 2005, a little ditty of a game called Sniper Elite came out and had a handful of pretty bitchin' game mechanics and options for players to explore. One of those mechanics was an equipment option known as tripwire mines. Basically, it was a grenade or a mine attached to a piece of wire that was able to be placed in virtually any location within the world in an attempt to either cut off potential flanks or ambushes. This was cool because it meant if you happen to get into some shit, you could rest assured knowing that you've got your little bomb buddy watching your back for any of those Nazi some bitches trying to be slick, thinking they're just going to come up from behind you and shoot a hot wad of lead up your duke shoot. So what in Brendan Green's name does this have to do with PUBG? Well, my little french fried chicks, what if PUBG had the ability to set tripwire traps with the in-game equipment that's already provided? Now, before you start irrationally yelling at your screen and slapping your dads on the ass, hear me out. I realize that Call of Duty and their Claymore Mines or GoldenEye's Proximity Mines are a cheap and downright irritating way to die by another player. Trust me, nothing would piss me off worse than to be in the top 5 creeping through some weeds and to have my ass blasted by some pro gamer's thick chested booby trap that took little to no skill to execute. But what if, instead of reinventing the wheel in order to implement such an illustrious feature, you simply worked off the previously established mechanics within the game in order to accommodate an appropriate use of a tripwire equipment, i.e. allowing the player to tie a string or a wire from one fixed location, give them a designated radius from said location, and place the other end of the wire attached to a grenade. But instead of this being something that instantly detonates, you stick with the pin timers that already exist, so in the case of a frag grenade, the wire would trip, pulling the pin, giving the player who tripped it an audio cue and a few good seconds to be like WT fuck and then detonate after that time. I think this would be awesome because it wouldn't guarantee kills in the way that some people might think. Even now, if someone were to throw a grenade at you without having cooked it at all, you're able to hear it if it lands near you and typically you have enough time to run away and avoid the blast. The same could apply here. If you can imagine walking through a house or a corridor and you hear one of those trip, the time it would take for the grenade to kill you would be more than enough time to avoid it, provided you were aware of what was going on and made the effort to get away. But probably one of the coolest and most tactical uses for this would be stun grenades. Since they have the lowest pin timer of any of the equipment, this could certainly be used as a more tactical way to help prevent players from ambushes or simply set up ways for providing information in a remote or nearby location. Of course, this wouldn't be limited to just frags and stuns, but smokes and maybe even molotovs as well. I think as far as implementing something like this, it would be as simple as providing an extra item around the world in the form of like a spool of wire similar in size to the can of an energy drink, maybe even a smidge smaller. Hell, you could even make it as rare as the ammo loops or the sniper rifle suppressor, but not so uncommon that players could never find them. I can already hear arguments saying that this would only benefit campers and would create cheap death moments, but I honestly don't believe that it would be as detrimental as you might assume on the surface. Like I said, it wouldn't be instant death in the case of frag grenades and for stuns and smokes, it would only provide information or temporarily blind whatever players were around during the moment of detonation. This isn't to say that players should be completely caught off guard by the way, this equipment tripwire could be completely visible and have the ability to be destroyed if the opposing player was perceptive enough and paying attention. In any case, these are just my ideas that I think the game could try or implement fairly easily based on the rules and mechanics that are already established. Of course, I'm just a dork who makes videos about PUBG and I have no idea what it would take to make something like this work in the world of PUBG. Either way, I think it would be kinda neat and I'd love to know your thoughts about applying something like this in the game.